everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from uh, Stampin' with Marcy. I am a independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And today I am here with the Creating Kindness design team. This is our monthly blog and video hop. So this month's theme is technique. So I'm going to be creating a card with the statement of my heart stamp set that um, this is the Stampin' Up! Statement of the Heart and they have just um, changed the names to Statement of My Heart. Um, as you can see, this is the mission statement. So um, I thought it would be um, lovely to create with this today. This is part of the um, Share What You Love uh, suite that is a um, early release of these products that will be available in the new annual catalog. There is the Just Getting Started bundle, a Little More Please bundle, and the Gotta Have It All bundle. And this is where this statement of my heart stamp set comes from. Um, it unfortunately will not be in the annual catalog. You will just receive this if you purchase this Gotta Have It All bundle from May 1st to the 31st, um, I believe it is. So let's get started. I have already heat embossed my um, sentiment. I used uh, silver embossed powder and I've done it on shimmery white and I have die cut it out using my layering ovals. So I am going to um, do a bit of sponging on my background piece here. I am using the new Petal Pink ink that um, you can see the brand new ink pad design. And I am going to take a Stampin' Sponge and just start uh, bringing on some color onto my shimmery white card base. And you can uh, go as light or as heavy as you want when you're building color. I try to start off my page and go in circles to uh, avoid that big splotch that you could get if you just immediately stick your sponge down on your card front right off the get-go there. Carolina Evans is our guest um, blogger this month, so please be sure to check her out. There are other team members that have um, done videos as well. The uh, links will all be in the description below, so please be sure to uh, click on that. I'm just going to set that aside now. And I'm going to now pull in the soft sea foam. It is a gorgeous soft green. And I am a, a person who is drawn to the subtle colors. I've always been more of a subtle girl than a um, brights or regals. So uh, these two brand new colors are right up my alley and while everybody does not have a video this month um, everybody does have a blog post so please be sure to check out everyone's blog posts uh, Leave us some comments. We absolutely love to hear from all of you and connect with all of you. It makes our job so much more enjoyable when we get to interact with 
our customers and friends. And as I said, you can bring in as much or as little color as you want. And I'm kind of overlapping a bit of the pink with the green. Just bringing in a smidge more of that petal pink. Okay, I think that looks good to me. So I am going to close up my green and now I'm going to pull in put this aside I'm going to pull in my embossing paste I haven't played with this for a while so I thought today's video would be perfect to um, pull it out and do some creating with it so I'm going to bring in my silicone mat and I'm going to put down my uh, card stock and I'm going to line it up with the grid lines so that it is fairly straight and then I'm going to bring in my brick wall from the uh, pattern party de decorative masks and I have a ton of washi tape that is retired so I'm going to pull in some washi tape and I'm just going to tape my mask down in the corners so that it does not shift on me while I'm applying my embossing paste keeps my um, area stable there. Now, because this is a brand new color and I don't have any re-inkers at this point in time, I'm going to take my ink pad and I am just going to dab a bit of color onto my other silicone craft mat. Uh, I always have a stash of them because you just don't know when you're going to uh, be needing extras, so I always keep a few extra on hand for my personal use and I'm just going to take about that much close this up nice and tight because it will dry out rather quickly if you don't get that lid back on nice and tight and then just mix it around And you can see that the white is now turning that lovely soft pink. You have to work fairly quickly with this stuff as it does dry out fairly quickly. Okay, so I believe I've got it all mixed up. So I'm just gonna take and start applying. I'm going from the top left corner and applying it down on an angle down to the left bottom corner, the right bottom corner, sorry. Going from the right, left to the right. And I'm overlapping a bit on that green and I'm just kind of scraping it to add more of that. I'm going to use my finger to try and get as much of that as possible. And with this stuff, you have to clean your instruments, everything right away, or it will dry quite quickly on your um, tools. And you don't want that. So I'm just going to peel up 
my wash tape and carefully peel that off and there you see now if you've got a little excess on the sides all you have to do is take your finger and just run it down and that just cleans that edge right up so I have a package of baby wipes off the side here that I'm just going to wipe my hands and as I'm in the middle of creating I am just going to cover wipe this off and then cover this so that it stays damp so that it's not going to dry hard on me and then I will grab a second one and cover that so that way it's going to stay moist and I'm not going to worry too awful much about ruining my tools. So I'm also using the soft seafoam cardstock and the uh, petal pink cardstock for my base um, and my layers. So I'm going to pull in my yet my third craft mat and I'm going to use a little bit of glue here, to, liquid glue to adhere this. Make sure that this is the right way. And if you enjoy my video, please leave me a comment, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, Now I also have a scallop um, oval and I'm going to take my sponge that has a bit of the petal pink on it and I'm just going to sponge the edges because there's plenty of ink on that from sponging my card front. just gives that little bit of color just on the edges. Okay, and then I'm going to glue that to my scallop oval here. Get this out of the way. It just gave it just that hint of color that I was looking for rather than the stark white just on the very edges. Now, it, as this takes a few minutes to dry, I've got another one here that I have done earlier. Um, when you're sponging the colors, they uh, always look different. I like that. Um, depending on how much um, ink you add to your embossing paste. As you can see, my first one is quite light. The second one is quite a bit darker. So you can uh, control the intensity of your color that way. Remember, you can always add more color. You cannot take it away. So it's best to start with a little and then add a bit more until you get your desired my sponge was leaving a little bit of uh, fluffies there behind. Okay. Now I have also taken some of the gorgeous Share What You Love design, Specialty Designer Series paper. I have taken a sheet of it. Um, this is in the Gotta Have It All bundle as well. And you can see where I have cut out my two flowers. And um, I have fussy cut them out. And don't they look gorgeous against this color? So I am going to, if 
figure out exactly where I want my placement. I'm going to actually get some dimensionals and pop that up on my dimensionals so that um, that is popped up off the card. Take my paper snips. I never waste. I use every little bit of this sheet. So I just take my snips and snip off. Okay, so I'm going to now um, figure out whereabouts I want. And I'm thinking about there. So my flower here, I'm going to take some glue and just attach a few dots here and there, being careful not to put too much as then I, it will make a mess everywhere and I'm trying not to touch where I've got the glue so that I don't get glue all over my hands. Just press that down in. Okay. And then I'll pull these off. I don't know about you, but I always have these little adhesive backings everywhere. Lola has them stuck to her nose. They're on clothing. I just, I find them everywhere. So then I'm going to take this one here and add some glue. And then it so that it's don't want it sticking out because then it won't go into the envelope for mailing and then my final addition will be some of these gorgeous Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. They are also part of the Gotta Have It All bundle. You also get them in the A Little More Please bundle. They are in the new colors. So I am going to take a couple of these. This is the Grapefruit Grove. So I'm going to take a couple of these and just add them to my card front. And there you have it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please be sure to click on the links below to hop along with the rest of us. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.